In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement feature that allows you the user to rearrange table rows in your table um, view. For example, the way it will work is a user will be able to tap on edit button and then uh, will be able to grab one of the table rows and then drag and drop and position at a different uh, position. Um, and I'll show you how to remove these delete buttons. Um, and um, this is it. This is a very simple example. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. I will stop this. And uh, I have actually already created um, a table view controller, a very basic table view controller with uh, on the one cell here and a table uh, view controller Swift file that um, has uh, um, an, a, an array of string values uh, which is called data holder and these are the values that will be loaded up in our table view then um, um, table data view source uh, function which is um, uh, which is called number of sections in table view controller and it returns only one section and a number of rows in section and this um, function simply returns uh, the count of a data holder so there will be only three uh, rows in our table view and uh, the next function which uh, is already implemented is a cell for all uh, at index uh, path and uh, basically each cell is um, the, the text label of each cell is uh, set to uh, one or two or three one of the values in my data in data array okay the next step for us is to enable that edit button in the top right corner and the way I do it is uh, also this uh, line of code was uh, prepared by uh, Xcode and I simply uncommented it uh, it is inside of uh, view did load and it's called um, uh, and it says self navigation item right bar button item equals edit button item simply uncomment, that, uncomment this um, line of code and you will get an, a, a nice and functional button edit button in the top right corner okay and um, once you do that your button will work and it will turn your table view into editing mode the next thing uh, that we want to do is to uncomment some of the function the very first function that com that uh, xcode prepares for us um, has to do with editing of uh, rows and table view we don't need that so i will delete it again uh, the following function has to do with um, uh, uh, editing of table cells uh, like that uh, delete button which I don't uh, also need so I will delete it the next function has to do with uh, rearranging of uh, uh, table cells in table view I need this function so I'll call it it's called move row at index path and the function below also has to do with uh, conditional rearranging of the table um, view cells it always returns true um, uh, and this is what we need we need every single cell to be uh, arrangeable or rewardable so i will leave it uncommented the, the next below has to do with navigation so i will leave it uh, commented i don't need it okay so if now i run this example I should be able to rearrange my table um, cells. Okay, I have this edit button. When I tap on it, it turns uh, and activates editing mode for my table of view, and I can grab the cell and I can rearrange it. And once I tap on done, everything, uh, the, the editing mode is turned off and my cells remain to be arranged. Now, I don't need this delete buttons, so I'm going to uh, change that. And the way you do it, you need to override one more function which is called edit install for all at index path. And we, you will find it if you start typing table view. And then from the list of functions available here, you need to look for edit install. Uh, it should be somewhere at the top edit install for all index path here it is i will select it and uh, this function returns um ui table view cell editing style 
I will select it and since say return table view cell edit in style dot and there are some options I can choose from delete insert and none I want to select none okay if I save and run this code let's see how it works I tap on edit button and I don't see delete buttons anymore I can grab and rearrange my table cell everything works but I have this huge space on the left uh, let me show you how to remove it okay uh, you remove that uh, space on the left by overriding another function and that function is called should intent while editing draw index path so and just the same way you find it you start typing table view and then from the list of available options you search for should intent while editing draw it index path here it is so I select this function and this function returns boolean value so what I do I say return false because I don't need that uh, intent on the left side I save it and run my uh, code again okay I tap on edit button edit mode is on I can rearrange and I don't see edit I mean delete buttons and I don't see that uh, a huge space on the left which was intent we just removed okay and uh, one more thing is that all this um, um, things that we just did this uh, editing is all UI based and there is no business logic that uh, we wrote that will actually rearrange values in our data holder well um, in your case it could be an array of JSON objects or it could be um, an array of different values uh, but um, in my case it's an array of string values maybe the, the business logic itself of rearranging items uh, will be different in your case but I will uh, quickly rearrange um, these values uh, for my example which is array of strings and the way I do it there's a function that we have um, here it's called more fraud index path so this function is responsible for rearranging the UI and once uh, and inside of this function we can actually rearrange values in our uh, data holder so what I will do I will say uh, let uh, item to move and in my case it is a string value and I will get it from data holder and it will be item from index path row so I have uh, my item to move and then I will say um, no I can actually do data holder remove remove uh, at index path and have the, the same value I have this item now I can remove and once it is removed I need to insert it insert um, element item to move at index path and the value I need is here to index path to index path a draw so oops sorry yeah so first we grab that the item we need to move then we removed this item from the position from index path and then we inserted this item at the new position to index path that was uh, returned to us in this function so um, it should work so now when I uh, run this example um, visually I will not see any changes but I know that um, inside of my uh, source code my the values are also being rearranged so when I tap on edit I can still rearrange everything and uh, these values will also be rearranged uh, this is it for this example I hope uh, it will work for you um, just uh, as well as it worked for me but if something doesn't work uh, please comment on this video below and uh, I'll try my best to help you out also this video and this source code I will publish on my um, swiftdeveloperblog.com 
uh, just in case you uh, you need uh, to have a look uh, at this code again. And I hope it was helpful to you guys.